Okay, let's say you've you've uh, done the skin weights of your horse or model or whatever you're working on. It was giving you trouble, but after a copious amount of time, you've managed to get it working just the way you need it, and you're happy. Okay, and that's from importing uh, different models, uh, overriding um, skeletons, just importing, exporting, just you know, really just trying to get uh, get it working. So. Um, let's just say you're working on something pretty complicated, it was previously a different horse and now you're trying to copy the skin weights across to a new horse but it's a small horse and you're doing all kinds of um, transferring of weights but with the import and export um, you, th you, you might have uh, tried to be um, productive and add in a namespace let's go over here um, Add in a namespace on the existing bones or existing um, models, just so that that all your your effort doesn't get um, overwritten when you import uh, all the stuff which you might want to use. So uh, you want to import the saddle and the, the the reins and the bridle. So you, you put a we, we you can you might want to put a prefix on your on your bones and on your models to avoid them getting overwritten with all the stuff. Okay. It's all good and well. The only thing is, you might run into a situation where you ha <laughs> the through error, human error, you don't realize you've you've got a duplicate now where there's the the old bones and there's the new bones, and some of your geometry is referencing the old bones, and some of your geometry is re referencing the new bones. And you can't just delete them because it will completely mess things up. Um, so how do you get this geometry to reference the new bones and not the old bones? H how do you go around that without losing all the, the weight painting that was done? So I'll show you a neat little trick. All right. So um, let's just get the naming how we want it. So we can just get rid of this 35. Get rid of that 35 same for that okay so in horse terminology this is called horse tack so we're going to select all the tack select the we'll actually delete the ones we don't want for now so we're just going to focus on the tack okay so there the hierarchy is correct in the skeleton and there is the models we want we can just export those and I'm just going to call it their tack right okay so now we've just got these you know, as FBX and that's a really good thing because now we can go back to our my scene where we were originally now we can actually delete those don't need them and guess what we can delete the bones too now what we want to do is when we import that tack again we actually now want the 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 bones to overwrite but for that to happen we need to actually um, fix the the namespace we need to remove it so in this situation we actually want um, them to overwrite so click on Shetland over there hit delete it's going to ask you want to merge with root we say yes it's removed all the namespace um, edits on those bones now, let me just close that, if we import that horse tack, it's going to overwrite, and that's what we want it to do. Let's do that. All right, so there's the um, bridle, the reins, and the saddle. There's our bones. It looks the way it's supposed to, and we animate, and it animates the way it's supposed to. So now we don't have the duplicate bones because they're all refer referencing the same ones because we managed to overwrite them. Okay, so that's a sneaky little workaround how to fix uh, an error if you ever find yourself in that situation. Okay, take care.